Hey there, this is just a quick video to show you a small DIY alcohol field furnace you can put together to heat a room. It raced up to 250, that took about 3 to 5 minutes to get up to 250, now it's just holding steady exactly 250 degrees. Actually slipping a little over 250 now. That air is so hot, it's unbelievable. I'm going to put a fan, I'm going to mount a fan out there, but the heat is just pouring out of here. There it is. That feels just like the air out of a natural gas furnace. Super strong, super hot. Totally cool, extremely simple to make. This is the whole thing. So all you do, take two cans about the size of Progresso soup cans, fill them with gravel or dirt, that'll make a nice solid base. Take your stack boot, this is a four inch stack boot. It's got the cuts in the metal exactly where you want them, it comes that way. They'll just slide right in there like that, and like that, and then you just press down. It grabs on there real tight. Makes a nice sturdy base. Then you take this 90 degree vent tube, also a 4 inch vent tube. Slides right in like that. That's it. Then just choose the can you want to use, like a tuna can size or a Campbell soup can cut in half. Drop it on the tile or something metal like this. Slide it under. As far as the stand, totally self-explanatory. I just used a metal paint can and a couple of bricks. And if you want to change the height, of course, just like that. Notice how far the fan is from the vent tube. That's about the perfect distance if you're burning the alcohol in say a tuna sized can. Don't put it like right here or you'll burn up the fan. Put it six to eight inches away is what I found is the best. It'll grab all this heat mixed with some cooler air and blow this out into the room. This, by the way, is a big gears fan. They're about twice as fast as your standard fan. This thing pushes a ton of air. Again, DC fan, or you can use AC fan. I actually prefer the DC version because you can use it. You can run it with a 9-volt battery, a solar panel, now this particular brand, this Begears brand, this pushes more air than the AC fan. It's awesome. Heated this entire room, living room, dining room, hall area, 20 minutes to a half an hour. It was freezing in here this morning. I didn't have the heat on last night. It went down to like 40 outside. Even without the fan, it comes out of there a few feet really hot. But the fan helps fill the whole room with the hot air. Four hundred degrees, there it is. Awesome. Heats this entire living room, dining room area in a half an hour. It's freezing in here, now I'm sweating.
Here's another option as a heat source. Using candles, you only get warm air, it won't be hot. Here's a couple options for powering the DC fan. You can use a transformer that converts the AC down to DC. Anywhere from 6 to 12 volt works good. 9 volt battery works pretty good. Small solar panel works really good. They all disconnect just like that. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Right now I have it clamped on to 9 volt power supply. But those are your options for the DC fan. I say go with the solar panel if you got sun. Just for reference, the air coming out of here is at least as hot as standing in front of a furnace vent of a natural gas furnace. If you really want to go all out, you can put a couple of cans under there. 